Arsenal need to put their stumbling recent domestic form behind them as they host Burnley this weekend. Last weekend's controversial defeat to Newcastle came after a tame Carabao Cup exit to West Ham, but the mood was lifted on Wednesday night, as the Gunners eased to victory over Sevilla to take a big step towards the Champions League knockout stages. Mikel Arteta's side have been strong at home all season, unbeaten in the eight matches they have played at the Emirates Stadium in all competitions, and they will be confident of extending that run against an out-of-form Burnley team. However, Mikel Arteta has been handed a number of fresh Arsenal injury blows ahead of this weekend. Now on to Arsenal's injuries. Gabriel Jesus was excellent against Sevilla in the Champions League, netting a goal and providing an assist, but there was an injury worry when he pulled up clutching his hamstring late on in the game. Eventually, he limped off for Edin Ketia with 10 minutes remaining on the night. It remains to be seen how serious the issue is. Jesus was sent for a scan on his hamstring and Arteta confirmed there would be an absence for the forward in the coming weeks. Reports have suggested he could be targeting a comeback in December, but whether or not his back before or after the international break remains to be seen. Soccer picked up an injury during Wednesday night's UEFA Champions League clash against Sevilla. The Hale End Academy graduate was constantly kicked throughout the night at the Emirates Stadium but that didn't top him from picking up an assist for Leandro Trossard's opener, before he doubled his side's lead in the second half with a clinical finish. However, he did pick up some kind of knock in the final 15 minutes of the game, appearing to land awkwardly after going up for a header. Soccer then limped off the pitch, with defender Jakob Kiwia replacing him. Despite this concern, Soccer was still named in the England squad for the upcoming European Championship qualifiers. Arteta has said, with Bukayo it was a knock hopeful I will be okay because we are missing a lot of players. Arsenal took on Sevilla without a recognised striker as Edin Ketia missed the final training session before the Champions League clash. Football.London understands the striker is nursing a knock he picked up during the Newcastle defeat. It's believed the knock is not serious and he could still be involved against Burnley this weekend. The Gunners' official Twitter account wrote, Edin Ketia misses out on tonight's squad with an ankle knock. Versatile defender Tokahiro Tomiyasu was brought off at halftime of Wednesday night's match, with left-back Oleksandr Zinchenko replacing him for the second half. After the game, Oteta confirmed that the Japanese international felt a slight issue before coming off. What Oteta has said, with Tommy he was feeling something, so we didn't want to take the risk, so we bought Zinchenko back. And with the other ones hopefully they will be okay because we are missing a lot of players. Odegaard was left out of the squad against Newcastle and Sevilla after failing to be pass fit in time for either outing. The Norwegian playmaker could return to action this weekend as his issue is not thought to be serious. Mikel Arteta has revealed that Martin Odegaard has been carrying a small injury in recent weeks. Emile Smith-Rowe missed out on the matchday squad for Wednesday's trip to the London Stadium, picking up a knee injury prior to the match. Arteta has said, we have an issue with him. He felt something in his knee and started to feel some pain after the game, we are assessing him, but it's a big worry with him. He's going to be out for weeks. Arteta has said, he's got a muscle injury and we expect him to be out for a few weeks. We don't know the extent of it still, he has more tests today. He got that injury in training, with the last kick of the ball. Very unfortunate. Arsenal only have one long-term injury absence ahead of hosting Sheffield United as Jurian Timber continues his rehabilitation. The 22-year-old sustained an ACL injury on the opening day of the Premier League season. He underwent surgery and will miss most of the season. The Arsenal medical team are refusing to put a time frame on Timber's return from the ACL injury, per Charles Watts. Gunners staff are mindful to avoid any unnecessary pressure over his long-term recovery program. Arsenal are not even discussing when he might return.